Facebook Live audience. So good to see everyone today. I have a fantastic math lesson for you. As you know, I'm a former teacher. I taught seventh and ninth grade in DC and seventh and eighth grade in Arizona. So we're gonna do a little bit of math. All right, I have a question. Okay. All right, so we know that the highest personal income tax rate in Arizona is 4.54%. Yes, right now, 4.54% is the highest income tax rate. And it starts to kick in at any income over $150,000. Okay, so what we're going to do, at least according to the proponents of a initiative to raise the income tax, is for some earners will go as high as 8%, and for another segment of earners, we'll go as high as 9%. That's right. The income tax, hack, income tax hike initiative proposes increase on those making $250,000 to $500,000. Instead of having a 4.54% interest rate, they will have an 8% interest rate. Income tax rate. Income tax rate, excuse me. And those making over $500,000 We'll have one at 9%. So we will go from 4.54% to either 8% or 9% for these two new income tax brackets. Okay, so if I want to know the percentage increase between these new rates from 4.54% either to 8 or to 9, depending on what you earn, I guess you just subtract 4.54% from the new number and... There you have it. So you either end up with 3.46 or you end up with 4.46, right? No, that is not the case. That is an incorrect calculation. So mm. if you're going from 4.54% to 8% and you simply subtract the two numbers, for this one, you'll get 3.46. If you do the same for these two, you'll get 4.46. These represent percentage point increases, oh. meaning if you take the current percent and you add this number of percentage points, you will get the new rate. But the actual percent increase is a different calculation and one that only takes three simple steps. Would you like to learn how to do it? Let's do it. Okay. So whenever you'd like to calculate percent increase, step one is finding the difference between the two numbers of interest. So in our case, 4.54, and let's use 9% since it's the big one. We want to know what is the difference between 9 and 4.54. 9 minus 4.54 is equal to 4.46. This is step one in calculating percent increase. Following me? Got it. Excellent. Our next step is going to be to divide the number from step one by the original number that we're starting with. This will help us get the proportion. So we would like to do 4.46, which as you recall is the difference, mm -hmm. divided by the original income tax rate that we are using as our baseline, 4.54. Now it has been a while since I've done division, so I'm gonna quickly use my four function calculator to figure out what this equals. Okay. And just, just to be clear, Ms. Wells, you're not using a graphing calculator? No, this is for function. It costs $2.99 at our local uh, drugstore. 4.46 divided by 4.54 is equal to a very long number, so I'm going to round. The actual number for those at home is 0.9823788. So what I'm going to stop at is 90, uh, 982, 0.982. Okay. Now, we're almost there at our calculation of percent increase. The third step is to take our result from step two and multiply it by 100 and we have a percent. Now, even I know how to do this part. How do you do it, Garrett? Okay. What should I do? So when you are multiplying by 100s and you've got your decimal point, you just have to move the decimal point by the number of zeros that you have there. That will work. One, two. So that means that the percent increase is 98.2%. So the income tax hike initiative will double rates 
on earners and small businesses in this bracket. Remember, there is a very significant mathematical difference between percentage point changes and percent increase. But I know that you can do it. It's three simple steps. We have some subtraction, division, multiplication, and you've got your percent increase. Now, I would like those of you at home to try it with the 8% number and see if you can come up with a percentage. I'll tell you what it is in five, four, three, two, one. 76%. Now, if you can get that number, please feel free to send me an email or comment on this video and we'll make sure you get the gold star. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in for this math lesson and I'll see you next time.